O2 has always had a different approach and very pragmatic approach. They don't just follow technology for the sake of technology. The first question they always O2 ask, what is the benefit of this technology to our customers? O2 is part of the Auto Air Consortium at Millbrook. This is focused on connected autonomous vehicles. From a 5G perspective, this means delivering huge amounts of data to moving vehicles. It can also be used for telemetry to be able to work out what's happening to cars as they're on the move. We're the only UK operator involved in this consortium and we're using our 2.3 and 3.4 spectrum to be able to deliver the solution. Ourselves and Mazak are part of the Worcestershire LEP consortium and we're working with them on mixed and augmented reality use cases. Now one of these cases is field force engineers wearing headsets and those headsets are able to transmit data back to an operation center. From the operation center, they can send data to the field engineer. This will help businesses really drive value out of this 5G use case. We have our test bed at the O2, which is really exciting because we're using our 3.4 spectrum to test the robustness of the technology, focusing on ultra reliable low latency, mobile edge computing, and some virtual reality use cases. In the future, surgeons will be able to remotely operate, which will really help our healthcare system. From a consumer point of view, we could be using augmented and virtual reality to bring them to locations and experiences that they really enjoy, which will be really exciting from a performance entertainment point of view, but could also help businesses in a one-to-one -one customer point of view.